Yeah, hello, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and this is the first video of some more which I call black and white and it will be my black and white, what I do with black and white, the kind I use black and white in my photography because I'm I start my photography with black and white, with film, back then in the film days. I went to full school, I learned black and white in the lab. So I have some tips for you, um, not even small stuff that you can do in Photoshop. or. What I like to show you here in Photoshop Elements, so I want to show you that it's not important to have the Big Brother Photoshop. You can also do stuff with Photoshop Elements as well as Lightroom or another program that can manage other third-party applications. I want to show you these third-party applications as well like Topaz Black and White or On One Software. How you can use them and combine all this stuff you will learn under this video series. Yeah, and the first I want to start with is this color sheet of the solid colors we have today, the RGB colors as well as the CMYK colors. And of course you have 50% gray, solid black and solid white. And this sheet I want to show you something with that a lot of people are doing with their black and white images. Uh, they use the hue and saturation and they just push the slider to the minus 100%. But as you can see here, this is not that what you want to have. You can go back to the zero. My program wants that. So, black and white is in grayscale from black to white with a lot of different grays in between. And back in the film days, as well as today with the plugins you have, each color is a special gray tone. If you t take away the color, you have a special gray tone. But if you take away the color by only using the slider, to the full minus 100%. You're taking only away the color, but you're not ca calculate. You're not calculating the colors into gray tones, and this is the difference between taking away color and do a calculation of each color tone to a special gray. And this is that what a uh, black and white film is doing. It's calculating the color into a gray. And that I can show you here. I have a gradient map. It's a, it's a little bit of a special gradient map I created just to show what you can do. I have a normal gradient from black to white, but I also have a gray slider here so that I can push the contrast very easy to that what I want to have and this you, you can save by by whatever you want file format on your computer so that you have this gradient and an image underneath and then you have a very simple way to do a black and white and to change the contrast. 
And this is a very easy way. And here you can see that each solid color, this was in 255 red, green, blue, and so on, that now we have very different grays between black and white. And this is because I only have the gradient map from black to white. Then you have the calculation of each color to a different gray. This is very similar to that what a black and white film is doing. It's not right, it's not that close to a black and white film, but it's, it's something you can imagine how a film is how a film is working. There are much more differences in between all the different black and white films films we had back then, as well as uh, all the applications or plugins you have today. But this is the first very easy way to process a black and white image. So it's not the way having this nice saturation to zero or minus 100, excuse me. It's more something like this that you want to have. And I can show you this with this image. It's a very normal landscape image. And if we are doing this with the UN saturation to the minus 100 to the landscape image, we have something that is yeah, quite okay, I think. But if we change it to this, it's very different. And if we compare them, this is more of a flat grayscale. And if we're doing this, then we have a little bit more of a contrasty grayscale, or like we say, black and white image. And it's much more similar to that what we want to have. And if we then go into the special slider. Oh, sorry. And doing the contrast with it. Sorry for that. Won't click too much. And changing the contrast of the image. We can change all the tones in between we want to have. Yeah, this was the first video. I hope it gave you something, an idea what a black and white image will look like. Try it at home. You can see it right here in the clouds, the difference of a flat grayscale or a little, little poppy black and white. Yeah, try it on different images and I will come back very soon with another tip and another idea how to use and how to process black and white images if you're not on the plugin side of the world. Thanks for watching, see you soon, goodbye.